Hi, my previous video was about an overcomplicated fuel quantity processor for Boeing aircraft made by Honeywell. Today it is still fuel related but a lot more simple. We have here a random Soviet aircraft cockpit instrument like such. Uh, two needles that are very very free to move and one part number here, UPRT2. So if you search this part number online, you will find quite a lot of uh, web pages, either for selling this unit or for with some information. It is apparently a dual fuel lever quant indicator. So uh, apparently a fuel quantity exhaust connected to a special sensor which I do not have but looks like this. And the sensor is carrying the same part number it seems so about this instrument. A very typical Soviet design with uh, all the information on the dial actually. We have no manufacturer plate anywhere. Everything is on the dial. We have a part number, the serial number, some additional uh, information here. Serial 2, so uh, version 2 or something like this. This uh, Strelka, whatever it means, 1, 2. We'll try to translate it, and you can see the middle of a glass is covered with a black dot of paint to, co to mask the shaft of the needles for some reason and here very nice logo of a manufacturer with a, what seems a dial and a little paper aircraft and 27 volts written with a V not the Cyrillic B ok uh, is it uh, rating to UV, this thing? We'll try. I have a UV light here. I will cut my backlight for one second. And yes, look at this. Very nice uh, green phosphor here. Not uh, radium, but very, very shiny green. Quite... Uh, Beautiful. Okay. Always nice to see. Ah, excuse me. Okay, so nothing else on the body. So I did find a drawing of uh, what is supposed to be inside. Apparently we have two uh, synchro receivers of this kind of units. So we will see how it is implemented inside. It came with a connector, cut wire harness here with cloth sleeve cables, one cloth interface here to secure the cable in place, and regular Soviet kind of connector. So you want to remove them like this, you unscrew a little bit, you pull and wiggle a little bit until it comes off. By doing so, you will not damage either the screw thread or the pins. Uh, pins which seem to be silver coated here. Very, very thick case on this connector. You can see something quite serious. Three slotted screws to secure the case. One had a factory seal, not anymore. And this is just a piece of masking tape with my inventory number. Uh, I did receive this item uh, at least one year ago, so my inventory number had some time to pass over 800 since. So, let's undo the three little screws and discover the wonders inside. 
Je vais probablement être super intéressé. Je vais voir everything without faveur des assemblages. Alors, note. Mm. Ok. Case is also uh, quite uh, seriously made. Here is a stamp here inside. Quite heavy. So what do we have? Okay. I guess we will not go any further because it should involve undoing the glass, undoing the needles, undoing the dial to access the free screws securing this unit and then free other screws securing this unit which are then uh, closed together by a number of additional painted screws so it seems we have a coaxial system with two uh, receivers probably synchro receivers quite flat design there is a circuit board at the back of them just to connect uh, wires on the pins going in them regular uh, soviet pink uh, wire so it is pink because it is copper wire with uh, teflon uh, insulator which is somewhat transparent whitish transparent so you see a little bit the color of a copper through it is why it seems to be pink uh, it's shrink here, green it shrink. Or oh, it was white, but they did apply some green uh, lacquer over the solders, and the lacquer did uh, tint the white it shrink. Like here, you can see it did also get the color of a piece of uh, thread. They did use to secure it in place. A bunch of little quality stamps here also here also okay but nothing else to see sadly I will not bother taking this apart anymore because uh, the main issue could be to uh, undo the needles with no damage and also the two tiny black screws here one wrong movement with your screwdriver and you scratch your dial so as it is uh, oh there is actually already a scratch here in the glass you can see it not very serious but still i will clean this glass pretty well my fingers have some oil on them it seems okay excuse me a bit better okay on the glass is just secured here by a, a clip a ring clip you can see like this spring clip and you can they did provide here actually a little uh, cut out so you could uh, use a tool to like this to push the ring out and then it is free Ah, the glass is free like this, you can see little seal behind it but uh, now we have a dial directly so, not super complicated to take apart this glass at least one thing when you put it back together you have to be careful not to put the slot of your uh, clip in front of a scut out here it will should prevent you to insert another time the tool to loosen it of course but this design is quite uh, nice uh, take, uh, take a part friendly at least but sometimes it is a little bit hard to reinsert correctly the circlip all around okay and here we have one seal just a piece of rubber and more stamps okay they were not uh, shy about putting stamps in this thing at least but the uh, two components here will keep their secrets sadly the 
it is a Russian roulette with uh, aircraft instruments. Sometimes you can even not uh, open them because it, they are completely sealed. Sometimes at least you can see a little bit and sometimes you can see everything. Okay, so this one will go back in storage after a little bit of additional cleaning maybe, but nothing else to see sadly, except it is uh, one more aircraft instrument in my collection. So thanks for watching, bye bye. Wait, 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 one little bit of bonus for you. Uh, whenever I put in storage aircraft instruments, I cut a piece of cardboard of the shape of the size of a dial and I secure it with some tape so it will prevent any accidental breakage of the glass while in storage if, if it is in a box with other instruments it is a little bit of uh, added safety and after it I wrap it in uh, completely in bubble wrap but uh, in particular with a glass like this with a black dot uh, of, in, of paint in the middle I do not want any uh, damage so little bit of extra safety and also on your connectors always try to put a cap here I found a uh, drink bottle cap that is uh, almost the correct size and it uh, will allow to protect the connector if you do not have a matching uh, official connector cap sadly here in Europe now they did uh, restrict the use of those caps and the new bottles have uh, clip on caps which are not anymore free dead on my uh, source of uh, clip connector covers like this is uh, dying so first watching bye bye